Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Total War Arena. Today we're going to be playing some Leonidas as you guys have been calling me to play more Greek infantry and we're going to be playing the tier 6 foot companions. I've got Leonidas at tier 6 and I feel like recently we've done quite a few multi 80s games as well as Alexander. I don't really play Kanani. So I thought, hell, let's just jump in, play some Leonidas phalanxes because we've been playing some Leonidas pikes. So let's try these guys and see what we can get done with the phalanx because I feel like the phalanxes of Leonidas are just as good as the pikes really you can get a lot done it's definitely very different to say uh, how you play them on multi ADs but you can definitely still get a ton of damage done with that shield bash I mean I feel like realistically you use the shield bash a bunch more with the phalanxes than you do say for example the pikes the pikes are more just about the pike itself whereas the phalanx having that shield bash you can just obviously fly into your enemies shield bash them to the ground pull out as well as that you also get a really nice bonus with your battle cry as well a war i can't remember what it's called it's something the last ability the ultimate ability for leonidas gives you like 200 percent fatigue reduction so basically you can just push and push and attack the enemy and not get tired not have your phalanx not knock back it's a really effective way if you're being aggressive to just take out lots and lots of opponents so yeah let's see how this one turns out i'm 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 feeling optimistic honestly i mean i don't really play phalanxes but i've been playing them a bit more recently and i'm definitely getting the hang of them so uh, I think it'll be fun to see what Leonidas is made of and, and hopefully the more I play them, the better I'll get. I've obviously always been taking your advice as well in the comments you guys have been telling me, oh Jackie, you should do this, you should do that and I've definitely been reading them and taking the best bits of advice and trying to implement that into my game for sure. Let me know as well what you guys are thinking of the new colour packs. Are you guys repping the bright pink? Are you guys doing something else? Like, let me know what you guys think of the new colour packs as well. I'd be interested to, to see what you guys are doing with them. Because I feel like they're very reasonably tr uh, priced for once. I uh, feel like uh, Creative Assembly and Wargaming do like to bump up the prices of things a little bit uh too much however i think the color packs are perfectly priced so yeah let me know what you guys think of that i am still quite shocked that the commander commanders haven't been reduced in price yet i think their price is absolutely ridiculous for new players so i mean hopefully you know because again that's, that's solely focused on new players as well because most of the veterans of this game the people willing to spend money on the game have already got them all unlocked anyway right so it's literally just affecting new players coming in. And I feel like it's still just far too expensive. You know, like 80,000 experience for a, for a new commander. It's just crazy. Like maybe 40 to 50,000, I think would be still quite a lot, but okay. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I'm sure a lot of you guys do agree with me, though. Um, so let's stick on this left-hand side. I always like to go on the flanks in these maps. Granted, I'm playing Leonidas, so I should probably just bum it down the middle um, and see what I can get done, but... I always feel like if your team's not on point with you, it just never ends up too being too well. And if the enemy, especially on this map, have artillery, you get picked apart pretty quickly as someone like Germanicus or Leonidas, just the slow moving uh, force of which you obviously have. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, move forward on this left flank. We are a little bit alone. There's no third player here supporting us. So we're going to have to scout out, see what's good, and then make our decision a little bit later. There you go. There are my boys with their pink shields looking great. I mean, what's not to love right there? Pushing forward for honor and glory. You had to see me coming a mile off, but I'm sure that won't matter too much. I was kind of hoping this cavalry would scout out ahead of this position. I mean, you have light artillery in the center, which is nice, but I feel like I'm just going to run across three players here. Like, I kind of just feel like I need to move and go somewhere else. I was hoping this cavalry would rush across. I guess we'll see. We obviously have fight in the shade if there's any archer fire or singer fire we can pop. And that's, that's a fairly useful ability. So there's still plenty of players hidden from view right now. And they do have heavy artillery. I just feel like this is just not a good engagement for me. Okay, we got slingers over there. So there's still, what, like one, two, three, four, five. Half their team still hasn't been discovered yet. I'm going to push across here in the hopes that maybe they'll show themselves. Please, there we go. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, Roman Armoured Legionaries. Okay, let's just fall back. This would be a fine fight for me. Gonna make sure I pop fire in the shade as well. Oh, actually, no. If he wants to fight me in the river, that'd be amazing. Because if I can fight him in the river here, then I could... Uh, obviously, he gets the debuff of being in the river, and I don't. Just uh, 
you know, pop that on these guys and push forward. He's going to fall back. I don't really want to go into the river if I if I can help it. So let's just stay there, scare him off a little bit. He's going to pop his uh, his thing in a second. He's going to throw his peeler. So let's get ready to pop fight in the shade as soon as we see it. I think we managed to reduce some of that, but not as much as I was maybe have liked. And now he's going to come in and try and fight me. Inform combat is probably not the best idea. Let's see what he does, though. I don't want to go into the river. I don't want to take that debuff, but maybe it's worth it. Especially, you know, could we have cavalry here? I think it's worth it. Um, let's just push up. Yeah, with the cavalry there, I think it's worth it. I'm surprised he's not trying to, like, charge me, um, considering he is... He is, obviously, a Germanicus. So I thought he'd be maybe a little bit more aggressive. Let's just push him there. We have this unit still left remaining. We'll get really close up to him and shield bash. And shield bash. I mean, look at that damage. It's just so good. And then we'll pull back out of that. He's popped Vengeance, so we maybe just want to try and fall back as best as we can, you know? Not engage. Try and let that Vengeance go off. He popped Vengeance on two units. So let's just push back. No need to overcommit right now. There's enemy cavalry right there. And we've got a teammate coming in as well. I mean, he's still got his Vengeance, but I kind of feel like we can be... Oh, my God, that charge was brutal. Yeah, I think we go back in now. We still have our strikes to pop off. So let's pop both of our strikes off. And then we'll have our Shield Bash very, very soon uh, to go off. Yeah, Shield Bash is back on both of these units. Okay, now you kind of tilt around a little bit to protect ourselves from the other enemy cavalry coming at us. Oh, fuck, you guys are facing the wrong way. No, don't do that. Yeah, the enemy cavalry is fine. I mean, he does still have Vengeance, which is scary, but I'm sure it's something we'll be able to deal with. Just trying to catch these guys as they try and run away. So let's get rid of these guys out of that. Probably should pop my bonuses as well. I mean, you guys just catch these guys as they try and flee, probably. Make sure we kill these guys as they try and get away. We obviously have Shield Bash back as well, so... And he's probably going to... He's going to lose his Vengeance soon if this guy doesn't charge him. Uh, still a good charge, though. So, nice. We managed to TB1 this guy fairly nicely. Rest of the battlefield seems like it's going somewhat in our favor. However, these Slingers need to be killed, like, ASAP. Like, this artillery just needs to shoot the Slingers. That's kind of what we need to kill. We'll just finish this guy off and then make our way up. Uh, obviously get out of that formation. And I guess we'll go. I mean, they're kind of scary. The slingers are really our biggest issue. That's kind of what we need our cavalry to do. Wait, what are we getting hit by? Their artillery? We were hit by something and it sounded like light artillery. Hopefully it is not, though. Yeah, we honestly need these slingers taken care of. And their javelins. I mean, I guess I'll just go to the base. They've got something back here as well, which I think this is what this player is going after. I maybe should just head back to our base because I feel like they've got a lot of cavalry. It's better to be safe than sorry, right? They've got a big push in the center. But I also kind of feel like maybe we can try and drag them back a little bit more. That light artillery is doing some good work along with the artillery. I mean, this, all these slingers are so undefended. All the cavalry needs to do is come back and uh, try and stop that. Yeah, so let's try and do this. Let's stick one unit there. You two go in front. And we're basically just trying to block off these entrances. Going through the woods was not a great idea of mine. Probably should have tried to avoid that where I can. But I mean, hey, what are you going to do? That looks pretty cool besides the, uh, the man glitching out there. So we move on to the enemy base. It's not a bad little maneuver right there. This game can look really, really great. Uh, it honestly can. For like a game that's like built off of Rome 2. I mean, Rome 2 can look great as well. Oh, they've got artillery back there somehow? They've got artillery back here. Go and kill it. Please. Yeah, they've got artillery. Hello, someone. Like, how is that artillery still left to be alive? Like, I honestly don't understand that. We have cavalry right here. I mean, he's going to deal with it now. Maybe it just took him a little while to see, which is absolutely fine. Someone, yeah, go kill the artillery, please. Oh, there's no point in me going over there. I might as well just sit around. There we go. Easy kills right there. So they're capturing our base. We have nothing back as well. So, yeah. We're not, why am I being pinged? <laughs> the nice thing is that our uh, cavalry's managed to intercept. That was a really nice move. And then this cavalry player. They have more artillery. So on, kill the artillery. Think of the children. Let's try and hide. Go, no, come on. Come on, killer. You got this, man. Killer, you got this. There's artillery right there. Oh, come on. I mean, we won anyway. But, yeah, the artillery maybe got a couple more shots off decap. Does he knows what could have happened? <laughs> Sometimes you've got to be really, really aware and look at your team's pings. 
So nice, he came first in our awesome God of War skin. Love that. Uh, always love the Leonida skins. I'm still waiting on that uh, Alexander skin, though. I'm still waiting on that Alexander skin. So overall, an okay score. Nothing really too out of this world. But I think I did a good job. You know, we, we basically dismantled the uh, Vengeance Armored Legionaries. I don't think the guy really committed too much to, like, using them as, as effectively as he could. But... I thought we did a pretty good job at taking care of them. So let's just queue up right away another game, see what we can get done. Uh, I imagine my Leonidas win rate can't actually be too bad because um, we've been winning a lot of games on him and I only really play him. 81% on him. It's not bad. We've been playing relatively, I guess, low tiers. We've been playing tiers 4s, 5s, and now 6s. So I guess that's one of the reasons why it is um, as, as high as it is. Um, I mean, it's only over 11 games as well, so nothing really too crazy. I've been playing a bunch of Alexander solo games recently. Like, whenever I kind of feel like I want to play, oh, I want a game of Arena, I'll jump on and play like a tier 10 game of Alexander. So my, my win rate on him has gone down a couple percent as well, unfortunately. Uh, not too happy with that. Uh, well, I mean, we've been playing a lot of Hannibal solo as well, and that's still at 66%. So, hey, I can't complain. Um, I think, my, yeah, my only, <laughs> I played two games on Kanani and I've, I've won and lost one. How have I lost a game in Kanani? I swear she's only level one. I'm pretty sure Kanani's only level... Does that mean I lost against the AI? I, I kind of feel like that isn't true, but it sounds like it is, right? Because my Kanani, I swear, is only level... Maybe I leveled her up. I must have leveled her up, right? I hope I leveled her up, because it'd be kind of embarrassing if I didn't, and I, and I somehow lost against the AI. I don't think that's possible, though. Especially as, like, archers. Archers are, like, the easiest thing to use, especially against AI. I guess we'll find out, though, when we jump out. So cool, let's uh, let's queue up. I, I do like the changes they made to Salernum. I'm not a fan of this. Like, I don't know what the issue is with the game at the moment, but it makes it so blurry to begin with whilst it loads in. Uh, I don't really know why. It just makes it look really, really gross. It's not as bad on your screen than it is for me. For me, it looks a lot worse than it does. Maybe it's just because mine's more zoomed out. Um, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Hopefully they fix this issue soon because obviously my computer can handle it absolutely fine. Um, so maybe it's just you know a, a tech issue from a patch which they'll hopefully bring in and sort out. Um, because obviously it shouldn't really depend on anyone else's computer or connection because it's just showing me my graphics. So yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be something that's fixed. So we have no missiles in Salernum uh, in the city, which is fine. Maybe, maybe uh, this guy can come in and help us out. But I mean, I'm Leonidas. This is where I, I thrive. Obviously, if we come against pikes or elephants, we have to be a bit scared. But besides that, you know, if there's anything else, I think we're pretty well off. Oh, this is a cool map as well for Leonidas to just to chill. I love the uh, the smoke up there as well. That looks pretty nice as well. Especially when we've got some more Greeks behind us as well. Greek boys roll out. Is that another Leonidas? No, that is a Kanani uh, spear. It's interesting. I mean, it gives you a lot of speed. I feel like if you're gonna if you're going like this for the speed, you might as well just go multi eighties because he's like just as fast. And then he has, like, other abilities. So, the pikes are scary. I bet it's just going to be pikes, elephants, and, and javelins or something. That would be, like, my worst nightmare. And it's nice as well. Oh, this is a tier 6 and 5 game, I think, from what I saw. Yeah. Which is great, because we played a 6 and 7 game last time, and now we're playing uh, the other one. So, lots of spears up here, meaning there's probably nothing here. Should we just run to the base? I feel like I've been doing this quite often in, in recent times. It's just been, like... Um, nice, our cavalry should be able to hit these guys besides stakes, maybe. Um, I feel like we've been doing this quite recently in videos. It's just like, well, I don't really want to risk losing, so let's just go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and just push their base and capture. Like, I feel like our base capturing has been off the charts recently. But hey, you got to do what you got to do to win, right? So they've got artillery, which I guess I'm going to try and sneak up on. I'm going to push my way through the roads... Um, and then come up behind it. Oh, no, wait, it's undefended? Oh, baby, a triple. Let's see this cavalry charge then. This cavalry player had just ducked. There we go. A little bit late, clumped up. How is this? I don't understand how people still clump up their men like that. I guess we're just not that used to, like... I guess we're just not that used to, to, like, to, to maneuvering and microing, but... 
you know, like, I, I feel like you just get such a better player by not clumping up. So that's, like, my biggest, biggest, biggest uh, tips I think I'd give any new player. Don't clump up your soldiers because there's just so many disadvantages to doing it and there's very few advantages to, to doing it. Like, it, it, might, it might be okay in a few select situations, but you're going to get so much more out of every one of your units if you spread them out. Because you know what that guy could have done is he could have just charged one in, used the other one to come around and hit the infantry and charged that, and then used another one to come around. You're just so much more effective with your abilities. Um, I guess we're base capping, boys. And, I, and I, I have no shame in that. I have no shame in base capping whatsoever. You don't want this to happen to you. Defend your base. You know, it happens to me more than enough, so... I'm happy to uh, deal with that. And I guess I'll go and send a unit out to deal with this one. Maybe, but then again, maybe this guy's just given up. Like, he's lost his artillery and he's just like, Oh, whatever, I hate this game. So maybe he's just going to not challenge us and we can just cap. Because we're going to cap quickly. It looks like all their cavalry's over there as well. Like, we are going to cap quickly now that I've got my units and we're about to get this guy. Okay, so he's going to send one. I'll go deal with it. Uh, you guys sit back. If he's going to. I guess I'll sit in the cap, though. And if he comes to me, I'll deal with it. I like light peeling me. Fight him a shade. Probably a little bit too late on that fight in the shade, but that's fine. Yeah, we should cap really quickly now. So he's going to come around this way. That's fine. Some javelins coming back as well. I mean, our cavalry... What our cavalry should really do now is just run in interference. I mean, what we should do is just sit at the back of the base. Like, if this guy just sat back, we'd easily win it. Uh, unfortunately, he's going to get decap, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. Hey, a short but sweet game, and I do not feel any shame. It's uh, one of the most important things in Arena is to defend your base. And if you don't do it, then you get punished like that. They were maybe, they were maybe winning the battle. Then all it would have taken was like one cavalry unit to sit back and just kind of roam around the mid part of the field, see it happening, and then run back. You know, if you play cavalry, it's kind of your job to do that. Um, to at least initially see it like if they would have saw that coming they could have then brought back infantry You know, it's your job as a cavalry player to, to scout that out from and stop it from happening and decap until your team can make it back Now if your team doesn't come back then hey, what can you do? And if you're an infantry player or a range player It's your job to when your cavalry scouts it to make your way back and hey, I, I don't think there's like I think maybe the base capping system could be improved but I don't think it's I don't think it's I don't think it's a bad part of the game. I think it's a very valid part of the game. It gives kind of a team, uh, you know, if 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 a if a bad team makes some mistakes, even though they're winning the battle, it gives the other team a chance to kind of hail mary and, and still win. And I, I kind of like that, you know. It makes you have to be uh, aware of the your surroundings and the map. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed them two battles on Leonidas. I had a lot of fun playing them hoplites, and I will see you guys in the next one.